and Father Clarence brought us food. And then you went back for napkins? Yeah, so that you could talk to him alone. This is too weird. Could this have been real? I mean... No, no, I mean, no, we're here, right? So this, this couldn't have actually happened. It was a dream, and in this dream, I had a wish for you. I, I wanted all your pain to just disappear. Wipe the slate clean. That's what I wished for you, too. And then, with a clean slate, we both walked away. Like, the only way to... to wipe the slate was to have never started anything in the first place. I don't want that now. I could never be away from you. Me neither. So, I mean, what, what do you think the dream meant? That, I mean, that there's no such thing as a fresh start? Maybe it meant that you gotta be happy with what you got. Dad, look. Look. <laughs> we were practically home the whole time. Could have walked. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Still, we were definitely very, very stuck in that ditch last night. I have a feeling we're not stuck anymore. Greenlee's gone, and, and I don't want to live in the past, but I think it just... It took me seeing her and hearing from her to remember what I do want, and, and what I do want is is living here, right now, with something really wonderful. Something that's been right in front of me. Something that I have refused to define, but I think I'm ready for a little definition at this point. So that I can, so that I can focus on it, so that it, it matters to me. And I really hope that I haven't waited too long and I also hope that you want that, too. It's Christmas morning. be there before Emma gets up. And I need to wait for my daughter, too. She's going to be back any minute, I'm sure. Just in case. I didn't give you your answer. The answer is no. You didn't wait too long. for 24 hours. It is dawn. I am going home. Aww. Sounds like a plan. Thanks. Good night. Good morning. Listen, <laughs> you know I'm going to stick by you no matter what. I'm just kind of curious as to what mm. you decided. What? About, about running for DA? Yep. Please, I haven't even decided if I'm going to get out of bed tonight. Or this morning. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for sticking by me. Standing up for me with David. Oh, come that was, on. Well, Getting in Hayward's face is one of life's little pleasures. Like chocolate. Mm. Or sex. Mm. Or chocolate sex. Mm. Woof. Mm. So, I just at this point want to ask, is going to bed even in the cards, or do we just like sort of wait up until the kids wake up? That's it. Good question. Five bucks, as Liza forgot her keys. Oh, come on. Amanda. Hey. Something, 
something wrong? Something happened? What's wrong? Uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Something strange is going on with David. <laughs> you mean stranger than usual? Well, I left to come here, but I forgot my glove, so I went back in. He didn't see me, but I heard him on the phone booking a private jet to Gloucester. What? Why Gloucester? We were in Gloucester a couple months ago because we thought that he might have hidden Trevor there. But all we found was an ex-nurse of his who was running a bar. I figured that was it. There was nothing more to it. Yeah, well, I guess we figured wrong. <laughs> 